first time they've ever had the Tennessee Dare Officers Association in our city. And, and our city is becoming a, a destination for a lot of these, not only statewide, but national groups because of its location and uh, all of the, the amenities that we have to offer and the fact that Murfreesboro is a wonderful place for people to want to visit. Certainly, we're very proud of Amy Norville. She is uh, the Tennessee Dare Officers Association president uh, in the middle of a two-year term. And uh, uh, the Dare Officers here in Murfreesboro have had leadership roles for some time now in the Dare Officers Association. In fact, Sergeant Greg Walker, who supervises our program, uh, has been involved in the DARE mentoring program for the last year or two, mentoring trainers and leaders who are actually presenting this program across the state. So, delighted to have them here. The Tennessee DARE Officers Association has a yearly training conference. It rotates locations through the three grand regions of the state. Um, 2014 was Middle Tennessee's time to, to host if, if we chose, and we chose to. So, we brought the State of Tennessee DARE officers um, to Murfreesboro for a week-long training session. We had officers from Memphis to far east Tennessee that all came together. We actually had one officer that came up from Alabama. Um, they came to work together to come up with new ideas to take the curriculum to the schools and to get training so that we're better equipped to go into the schools and help our students and our teachers and our administrators make a difference in these children's lives. Uh, I guess the, the most important thing uh, to share with the people who are here is the importance of the work that they're doing day in and day out because they're not only doing drug abuse resistance education uh, curricula and sharing that with the children in our schools, but they're also broadening that scope, if you will, to talk about decision making and, and the basis of good sound decision making. Uh, at a young age, we know that a lot of children form their attitudes and beliefs and their approaches to life and life decisions as early as third, fourth, fifth grade. So that's where we want to catch them. We want that safety net to be right there so we can talk to them about drugs and gangs and violent behavior and, and, and the impact of the decisions on the rest of their life. So um, it's important, I think, to reinforce and encourage these police officers who do that every day all across the state of Tennessee and how important that is not only to those families and to the safety of those schools where those children are trying to get an education but also to their homes and to their home communities because these kids are going to grow up. They're going to be high school students before long and then they're going to be citizens and that messaging that they get in that classroom that begins to help shape their ideas and their beliefs about drugs and gangs and, and the behavior that comes from involvement with those kinds of things may very well change their lives and that's exactly what we want to do. I've worked in the D.A.R.E. program for several years. Um, I left for a while and then came back and it's one of the most rewarding positions in the department. I think that um, the old saying that D.A.R.E. doesn't work has proven wrong. Um, I've always said you can't measure what doesn't happen. When we prevent them from getting in trouble, you can't measure that. Um, but there's been some departments in, in the state that cut the program and they're coming back. Our DARE officer training that's scheduled in December of this year for new DARE officers is already full. So uh, I think the ones that did cut it are finding a way to bring it back.